This was a one shot. I did one prompt and this is what I ended up with. It's insane. All right, so today we have a very short video that is also potentially life changing. So Opus 4.5 came out yesterday. It is amazing. And along with that, I've been using something that I just found out about, which is called Claude skills. And I still haven't fully grasped how they work. That being said, using them has allowed me to get the best without a shred of a doubt AI generated front ends I have ever seen blowing Gemini 3 out of the water, which is crazy because just one week ago, that was blowing everything else I'd ever seen out of the water. Gemini 3, it has been amazing, especially in that front end and design category. I'm gonna show you in this video how to get it working very simply to get better AI generated front ends. So first things first, there's this GitHub repo from Anthropic. The link is in the description below. Go ahead and click that and just copy the URL. It took me a couple times of clicking there. And when you're in Claude code, just go ahead and do slash and then do plugin. And you have this browse and install plugins thing. Actually, first you have number three, which is add marketplace. Right there, you are going to want to paste in this repo URL and hit enter. So mine's doing it, it's gonna say it's already done because well, I have already done it. So then once you've done that, you're gonna to go to browse and install plugins. We can see over here, this example skills, go ahead and click on install now. So it is now installed and I can simply go ahead and exit Claude code and then I can re-enter Claude code. Okay, so now that's done and I have my localhost running over here and the only thing left to do is write my prompt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask it to make a really nice homepage for a marketing agency. And I'm gonna be very specific and tell it you need to use the front end designer skill. I'm pretty sure you need to tell it to do that or it's not gonna work. From my testing, it works perfectly when you do that. So let me write my prompt now. All right, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually run this in plan mode and plan mode should make it so that it's gonna ask me a couple questions like how I want this page to look and all of that fun stuff. So I'm gonna wait for it to make its plan. We're gonna go over the plan together and then I'm gonna let it rip and we'll see what we end up with. All right, so it's got our questions laid out. And uh, first things first, I'm already very happy with this because what aesthetic direction appeals to you most for this marketing agency? Editorial slash magazine, brutalist slash raw, retro futuristic, organic slash fluid. I'm kind of stuck between one and two. Um, I'm going to say, let's go with editorial slash magazine. I'm worried I'm gonna regret that after, but okay, what type of marketing agency is this? Let's go for creative slash branding and I want dark and, uh, yeah, dark and bold, dark and bold. Which sections are essential for this homepage? Hero services work, that's probably good. Okay, so you see how it asks you, I mean, this is plan mode, this isn't unique to skills, but it's just gonna execute it a lot better with skills. So anyways, let's go ahead and submit those answers and we're gonna see what we end up with. All right, so there we go. It is done. It was that one prompt. Nothing happened behind the scenes. I'm gonna go full screen and let's take a look at what we got. So we have this very nice hero section, very nice font, very nice color scheme. We have this nice little, I don't know what this says, but there's some like text accent back there. That would probably be the name of it. Nice button hover effects. Little bit of an issue here with this arrow. I'd probably just remove this with the scroll thing because it, it overlaps with uh, with these stat sections. And then down here, we have some selected work. Very nice hover effects in them. Very clean. Looking at that, nice little grid. Explore full portfolio. Then we have services over here with beautiful hover effects. I mean, guys, if you showed me this 10 days ago, and told me that this was made by AI, I wouldn't believe you. If you showed me this four days ago and said this was made by Gemini 3, I would still find it hard to believe you. This was a one shot. I did one prompt and this is what I ended up with. It's insane. And I assume it is also responsive. I didn't check, but you know, I can only assume. So let's go ahead and see. So it looks absolutely beautiful there. Oh, look at that nav bar guys. Look at that animation that goes into it too. That is just, phenomenal. We got our projects here. See, are there a tiny bit of inconsistencies? Yes, but you can fix that very easily with something else that I'm going to show you in the next video. So that is all 
please go ahead and use Claude's skills. I've been sleeping on it, and this is this is ridiculously good, guys. I mean, I don't really need to say anything else. Have you ever seen such a beautiful AI-generated website before? I don't think you have. If you have, please let me know, and please let me know how you made it. So that's all, and I'll see you in the next one where I'm going to show you how you can actually have AI take a look at all of these silly little inconsistencies and fix them up on its own without you having to do anything. All right, I'll see you in that one.